there are really three categories of backup quarterbacks in the NFL. You have the young guys who haven't seen the field a whole lot, like a Johnny Manziel with the Cleveland Browns, who if he gets into the lineup, maybe he flashes. Maybe he shows that he can ascend and makes you rethink exactly how you're approaching the position. You also have players like Ryan Mallett with the Houston Texans. Lost a training camp battle. Probably not a huge difference between him and the starter, and maybe only a matter of time until he gets back on the field like Mallett did, replacing Brian Hoyer in week two. Then you have the veterans who have already had all of their opportunities. They are going to, in all likelihood, be career backups. And you could have three of those guys making their first starts of the season in week three with Brandon Whedon in place of Tony Romo, Jimmy Clausen in place of Jay Cutler, and perhaps Luke McCown in place of Drew Brees. With those sorts of backups, you're just hoping to get by until the real starter returns. Best case scenario, you might be able to win a game or two before the difference in their skill sets really start to show through. That's why easily the most pressure out of all those situations is on not only Whedon, but the Dallas Cowboys coaching staff, Jason Garrett, Scott Linehan and company. They need to figure out a plan over a long span of time here, at least two months if Romo recovers on a normal broken collarbone timeline, to put Whedon in position to succeed against defenses that increasingly are gonna figure out within the scheme what he can and can't do well.